What is up guys, it's Mikey Chimemo here and welcome to my YouTube and most of all, welcome to the fifth episode of this gothic playthrough. In this episode we're gonna deal with at least Ortega and his bandits and as well try to get at least towards um, the mercenaries farm between Montara and one of the Darurids. So I'm gonna wait, let him wait here for now. Wait here. I'll hold the fort here. Because uh, when I was timestamping my previous, um, you know, episode, I noticed that I forgot at least one bundle of weapons. So, you know, let me get that. I've got the feeling there should be at least two more bundles somewhere around here. I think I got them, I'm not quite sure, but I uh, can only find find one, so, you know, let's go to Ortega and the bandits. Come with me. Let's get to it then. All right, so off we go, guys. Off we go towards Ortega and the bandits. Now I first will go towards Ardea um, to get myself some nice gold.
I have to go that way. But first, I will go to... There, so much for you, filthy beast. What's our idea to uh, go to Jack the Lighthouse Keeper, deal with his bandit problem as well as uh, get some free gold. One filthy beast less. Can't find an anti potion one. So let's hope I do not bleed to death. I need a bit of gold in order to get myself some, uh, at least the light um, human orc mercenary armor. Come with Cyrus. Come on, Cyrus, hurry up, man. Wait here. I'll hold the fort here. I'll let him wait here so I know where to find him. Um, no bundles of weapons here, right? Alright, so let's quickly go to Ardea. Good thing the rebels are here now. I hope the orcs here will leave us alone for a while longer. Ah! 
Loot plants, you know, I always do that because uh, at some point they could quite become handy for HP potions, mana potions, endurance potions, although I don't use those I will still be able to sell them. roast some more f meat and let's go to Jack and Jack uh, the lighthouse keeper I need about 5k I think for the better armor and the first armor of the human orc mercenary which gonna cost me about 5k I think I'm not quite sure but uh, that's what I think so uh, let's see if we manage to get that much gold Ahoy, matey! Headed for a great adventure! Nice tower you've got here. Aye, it's just right for an old salty dog like me. But it's a dangerous neighborhood, I tell ya. These bilge rats are everywhere. They don't give an old sea dog a moment's peace. Have you seen any orcs? Heaven forbid. I hope they have better things to do than scare an old man. I heard you took gold from the rebels. <clears throat> yes, I think I can trust you with this. They were here and asked me to let them know as soon as I see another ship. I think they're still hopeful that help will come from the sea someday. Give me the rebels gold. Yes, all right. What's an old sailor to do with that much gold? But promise me you won't squander it. The bilge rats will never bother you again. Ah, I knew you'd help me out, matey. I don't have a whole lot I can give you, but take this as a reward. Keep your chin up. Show me your goods. Yeah, not by a long shot. I could really use the uh, better armor, but um, can't afford it at the moment yet. Still need about 2k. Let me quickly teleport to Redick. Let's 
see if I can deliver some more quests, you know, I doubt it, but uh, let's check it out nevertheless, and then sleep till morning, and then we're gonna really go to Ortega and the bandits. Let me think. Apparently not, okay. Can't find a bed, so uh, screw it. Let's pick up Cyrus and then go to Ortega. Come with me. Let's get to it then. Now, give me a couple of minutes. I'm gonna roll a cigarette, you know, and uh, then we're gonna go to the bandit. So give me like two, one minute, maybe two max, you know, nearly done. So uh, just give me a bit. Alright, let's go Cyrus, let's deal with this Ortega. Now this can become quite, quite a tri tricky challenge. But uh, you know, if I do it smartly, I wouldn't have to be worrying about anything. Well, that takes care of that. Because uh, there will be around, I don't know, 15 to maybe even 20 bandits, including Ortiga, which includes some light bandits, some medium bandits, and some heavy bandits. One filthy beast less. Well, that takes care of that. There's a hunter there. Shall I talk to him? Yeah, why not? I think it was one of the rangers, but I'm not entirely sure. Hey, wait. What is it? Be warned. The area east of Vengard is full of orcs. Plenty of orcs. So what? They're not really the laid-back kind, you know? They're just waiting for an opportunity to fight. If they set eyes on you, you're dog meat. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living from whatever I find here in the coastal region. You live out here all by yourself? Why not? 
I don't feel like being enslaved by the orcs. The bandits are nobody's fools either. They attack anyone on sight. But there's one place you should stay away from. Vengard, the capital to the north. A whole army is camped out there. I wouldn't get too close to them if I were you. I see. Can you teach me how to hunt? Sure, but not for free. We all have to look out for ourselves these days. You bring me the meat of the shy deer over in the east, and I'll show you a few tricks. What do you think? Is that a fair deal? I'll get you the deer meat. Fine, but be careful. If the orcs catch sight of you outside of Vengard, you have gone too far, savvy? Got it. Ever heard the name Ortega? Sure. Everybody knows Ortega. He's the boss of the bandits on the coast. Their headquarters are in a cave northwest of here. I see. Is there a way to get past the orcs? Forget about getting to the pass behind Vengard. You'll run into even more orcs there. You could try getting through to Faring. Just keep as far away from the orcs as possible. Show me your goods. Now, I'm not gonna hunt these shy deers yet, because if I hit them with my bow, they will survive, and thus they will run away. So I will hunt the shy deers once I have um, a bow like, I don't know, like this, 90 damage something, you know. So that I can one shot them, and thus, you know, no need to trace them. I could use the arrows, especially with the bandits. Thanks, man. You showed him. One filthy beast less. Bless you, Osiris. There, so much for you, filthy beast. Nothing more to be had there. All right, the bandit cave, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Now keep your eye very close on Cyrus because there are so many bandits in there that he can easily die and if he dies you fail the quest so I have to keep him alive at all costs so what I'm gonna do wait here I'll hold the fort here I'm gonna lure them slowly but efficiently to the outside Uh. 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 
Ah. Ah. Let's go. Right, my friend, indeed that it is. Where's the other bandit? Hmm, I thought I saw something lootable. Wait here. I'll hold the fort here. Now the hardest wave. We know we have a big problem now, Jim. Up there and behind there is Ortega, and surrounding him are like 10 to 15 bandits. So uh, take precaution. And do not forget these crates of lamp oils. You will need them for another quest on the road towards not Montera. Like that. that won't do anything. Broken. Come, let's get to it then. You showed him. Now, now it can become difficult since he's gonna. Come here, Cyrus. I don't want you to die. So wait, wait here. here. I'll hold the fort here. Let's get to it then. 
Let's heal, otherwise I'm gonna die. Now if you're not sure um, whether you will survive or not, you want, don't have the potions or don't want to waste your potions, just quick save a quick load and uh, he will be fully regenerated in, into his HP. That damage is insane. I've still got it. You sure do, my friend. Here. That should help him out a bit.
So I'll get you after all. Ah! Cyrus. Honestly. Ortega is dead. What? Really? Too bad. And I thought we were only just getting started. Oh well, it's back to the Night Watch then, I guess. It was my pleasure. See you around. See you around, Cyrus. Now if you want to take him along a little further, you know, don't talk to him yet about uh, Ortega's death. Let me check if I got all the crates of lamp oil. I think I do, but I'm not entirely sure. So this area has been secured so let's get to the guy where I have to deliver the uh, lamp oil crates towards to and then continue the journey towards a Montera Beast less. Are you serious, Cyrus? Oh well. Everything's already gone. What's your problem? Look at this mess on the road. The bandits took all my things. Curse Ortega and his gang of filthy swine. What did they take from you? I was on my way to Ardea with five crates of lamp oil. Ortega's bandits took all the crates. I'm ruined without my oil. I'll get your lamp oil back for you. Oh, uh, don't get my hopes up. I'm a desperate man. But if you really can retrieve my crates, I'll make it worth your while. Here's your lamp oil back. Really? Thank you, stranger. I will always remember your kindness. Take this as a reward for your selfless deed. 
I will immediately head for Ardea before they steal my oil once again. Ortega, the boss of the bandits, is dead. Is he really? Now that's good news for a change. The orcs are bad enough already. Why do we have to have bandits too? Show me your goods. Let's see what he has. A pickaxe, I need that. For Vanguard, the capital, oh, for one of the quests there. Let's see if I can reach the 5,000. Five thousand reach. So, oh. um, now nah, we'll keep it for where I'm in Montera to purchase the armor there. After this little cave area, I will uh, stop the episode because I think I will already am busy for around 30 to 45 minutes, you know. Where is it? If I can prevent it, you know, I don't want my to make my episodes too long, which makes it only harder to timestamp. But you know, let's do this quest over Stop here. Right there, not a step further. Calm down. I'm not out to get you. <sighs> By Enos, I almost took you for one of those wretched orc mercenaries. Aren't you afraid the orcs might get you? Orcs are careless and noisy when they roam the woods. I can hear them half a mile away. The only plague that is getting to me is those horrible goblins. You are more afraid of goblins than of orcs? Scared? I am not scared at all. The goblins will creep around the camp at night and steal everything I've got. There must be a whole nest of those cowardly goblins somewhere close by. Tell me about the area here. You are in the wilderness here. No cities anywhere. That mountain range to the north separates the coastal region from the Midlands. Keep following the path to the west, and you'll eventually get to Montera. Provided the bandits don't cut your throat first, that is. Interested in a little trade? Depends on what you have, really. What will you pay me to get rid of the goblins? You mean so I wouldn't have to keep an eye on my things all the time? Hmm, I guess that would be worth 100 gold coins to me. I will do away with those cowardly goblins for you. Well, have fun then. Goblins are awfully nimble little bastards. Don't let them surround you, or you're done for. All right, so that's safe. And then... Let's take care of the cowardly goblins and uh, deliver the quest back to the guy, to the rebel guy, and then uh, it will be about the end of my episode. What was that? He, he just went through the wall.
Now that were the cowardly bandits, uh, cowardly goblins. Let's sit by the fire and uh, regenerate my HP. Now I'll do that with the rebels. This is because I think because of uh, Gothic 3 Enhanced Edition, which allows me to regenerate near campfires. Right, so let's deliver this quest and uh, finish this episode. I finished off those cowardly goblins. And the bastards didn't skin you alive? Well, I'll be. You've got what it takes, my friend. This is certainly worth a hundred gold coins. Show me your goods. Alright guys, that's about uh, the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like what you see, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. Feel free to leave behind comments, positive or negative. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think is deemed worthy of my playthrough and uh, I will hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go further towards Montera and uh, come across a small farm as well as some rangers and a bit of orcs and bandits depending on the road that I take so uh, I hope to see you guys next time so see you around